Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so today we are here in Washington, DC. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day today. It's actually quite warm. I think I wore a bit too much clothes again. Um, yeah, so we're gonna visit some of the museums today at the National Mall. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. Last time we were here to see the museums was in 2017, so it's been a long time. Um, I did come back in 2019 on a sort of short, sort of short layover on one of my trips to Europe, but didn't really get a chance to explore the museums at all. So yeah, so let's get our day started. There seems to be a lot of construction going on here um, in the National Mall area. Um, yeah, and actually something that uh, we found out a bit too late um, was for the National Air and Space Museum, you now need a reservation. Uh, you need to reserve a time slot. And they seem to actually go pretty quickly. So, uh, so tip for you guys, if you plan on um, going to some of these popular museums here at Washington, D.C., uh, definitely plan ahead and uh, try to get that time slot. Otherwise, you might end up feeling a bit disappointed uh, once you get here. But we're going to try to uh, go to the Natural History Museum today and maybe the Arts Gallery one. Um, yeah, so we'll see. So two things I actually really love in DC is that mostly all the museums have free admission. Um, yeah, because I think I told you guys that I don't always visit museums and aquariums and such when I travel to new places because they're often very expensive. So if I were to visit them all, I would be spending uh, a bit more on my budget on my travels. And since we do travel quite a bit, uh, they do add up pretty fast. So I love that DC has mostly all of their museums as free admission, so there's no need to worry about that. And also DC does have a really good public transportation. It is pretty efficient and usually pretty quick. Um, most of the underground uh, metros do arrive every five to 10 minutes, so it's really not too bad. It helps you get around really quickly and it gets you to everywhere that you need to go. Alright guys, we have made it to the Museum of Natural History. Um, yeah, so let's go inside. I don't think I've been in this museum before, I don't remember. So we just entered uh, the Natural History Museum. Uh, there are a lot of exhibits to explore for sure. It is very, very huge uh, compared to the Franklin Institute um, over in Philly. Okay, so I guess we'll start here uh, at the Ocean Hall. So the Museum of Natural History is actually part of the Smithsonian Collection of Museums located in the National Mall uh, in Washington, D.C. So I didn't know the Smithsonian Museums and Galleries also include the National Zoo. Um, and also the Smithsonian includes uh, 17, a total of 17 museums, galleries, uh, plus the zoo. So I never knew that the Smithsonian had so many. So this exhibit that we're in, Ocean Hall, uh, talks a lot about the, the history of the ocean, as well as the plants and animals that lived there all the way from the origin of the ocean 3.8 billion years ago to everything that has uh, led up to what we see the ocean as today. It is a really fascinating exhibit, especially if you love to know about the ocean and about the animals that live there.
Uh, here we are in the mammals room. Um, yeah, in this room, uh, tell you about how we, um, in the past, that evolved from uh, from primates up to the uh, form that we know nowadays, humans. Here we have uh, the really early uh, human skeleton. Uh, they're talking about Lucy. Yeah, if you guys have uh, heard about that in your history books, uh, here we they're talking a little bit about Lucy. So there's a lot of um, a lot of footprints here. The mammal room is definitely pretty interesting. Uh, besides telling you how um, we grew from uh, from primates up to uh, the human body structure we know nowadays, um, yeah, they show you how uh, the brain size increased uh, first really slowly, and then at a kind of normal pace, and then rapidly. And also in the other one, we just saw that um, about how humans adapt uh, based on cold or versus hot climates. So it's pretty interesting. I'm not much of a history person, but yeah, uh, this museum is definitely pretty cool. So our next exhibit is called the Hall of Mammals. So in this exhibit, you can see a lot of different animals that you wouldn't see in everyday life. Like for me, I wouldn't see a bison in everyday life or many chipmunks here in Florida. Uh, there's also more exotic animals like the okapi um, that a lot of people actually don't know much about. So I also really love this exhibit because they do tell you a little bit about each animal that you're seeing as you're walking by the different display cases. Here we, all, here we are in the fossil hall now. Wow. They're huge. Uh, this is pretty cool. Bunch of, uh, bunch of different animal fossils. Uh, so up here is the uh, lights out exhibit uh, that explains um, that explains about the light pollution we have in the world and why we um, cannot see the stars anymore in the big cities of the in the big cities around the world. So the Natural History Museum was pretty cool. I really enjoyed um, the exhibits inside. Uh, we did see pretty much all of it. Um, 
we only missed the uh, geology section with the rocks and minerals. Um, but yeah, we ended up getting kind of hungry. So we uh, left after about an hour and a half. So I would say it takes about maybe an hour and a half to two hours to see the whole museum fully. So it wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, so now we are here at the at the art gallery museum. So yeah, let's uh, go inside. So something to note actually while you're here inside the National Gallery of Art Museum in uh, the National Mall in Washington DC is they are actually really strict with their policies here. Uh, in the Natural History Museum, I didn't really notice a lot of strict policies, but definitely in here in the art galleries one, uh, they do enforce a lot of these rules. So uh, one thing to note, if you are carrying a backpack or like a bag of any kind, like, you know, uh, anything that goes on both shoulders, you must carry it just on one shoulder, which really is, it really makes sense, I guess, because they want to make sure you don't accidentally knock down uh, one of the pieces of art with your big backpack. Um, but definitely, I do have a heavy backpack, and that's definitely pretty difficult to balance it just on one shoulder. Uh, but if you guys don't want to have to carry your heavy bags around, there is a free place to check your bags. Uh, before you go into the art galleries they do say they are not responsible for any loss of items though so maybe it'd be best to travel light to this museum um, and they do allow photography and videos uh, while you're in the museum but no talking on your phone and there was actually a lady uh, during my visit to the museum where uh, they did tell her to get off the phone if she was making a phone call so definitely if you're making a vlog uh, no talking during it so talking would have to be afterwards. But you can make unlimited videos, unlimited photos. Uh, they are pretty strict with their selfie sticks and tripods though, so definitely don't take that inside the museum. Uh, if you are, uh, you should definitely just not take it out of your bag. Also, they are definitely very strict with their food and drinks. Uh, you can bring water but and maybe some like snacks in your bag, but make sure it's not full size items, you know, like some pizza or some sandwiches because those will not be permitted to be inside the museum. Yeah, but otherwise, uh, it is a wonderful museum. If you guys like uh, both contemporary and Renaissance art, you will really enjoy this museum. There are two parts of the museum. So I came here only to the Renaissance um, kind of older style side, as that's all I'm going to have time for today. Unfortunately, I did come to this museum quite late. So I only have less than an hour in this museum before it closes. And just like the other uh, Smithsonian museums in DC, the National Gallery of Art is also free admission, which is really great. So definitely if you are an art lover, you'll love to come here to the National Gallery of Art and enjoy all the beautiful paintings as well as the sculptures. Um, the National Gallery of Art does have a rotating uh, temporary galleries as well. Um, I did see a few today, but definitely didn't have time for them all. So the National Gallery of Art is one of the greatest museums in the US. Uh, it's as popular, it's pretty much as popular as the Met Museum in New York, the Art Institute in Chicago, and the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. 
Um, the National Gallery of Art is huge also. It's really easy to get lost in here. So definitely I recommend carrying a map with you when you come here. Alright, so we just finished um, the art museum. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, I love how mostly all the museums are free in Washington, D.C. So if you want to go to a museum, um, money is definitely not uh, a limiting issue here. Um, yeah, unfortunately, we didn't get to see all the museum today as we only had less than an hour and the uh, National Art Gallery Museum is really big. <laughs> um, yeah, so we saw mostly all the um, artwork from the uh, from the olden times, the renaissance, um, 1500s, 1600s, um, pre-modern day artwork. Yeah, so maybe next time we come um, I'm gonna check out the other side of the building which is the more modern art. Um, yeah, so I didn't realize there were two sides to the art gallery. Um, yeah, I think, I think I had seen this art gallery before maybe in 2017 when I was last year but I don't remember. Um, yeah, so uh, still got a few hours before our flight, so probably going to uh, walk around and enjoy the sunshine. All right, so we're home now from DC. Uh, so after the National Gallery of Art, we didn't actually walk around much. Um, ended up just uh, getting some snacks at a bakery uh, nearby the National Mall. Uh, the uh, shop is called Insomnia Cookies. I do really love the cookies from there. We do have uh, one actually in Orlando as well, uh, but I was craving something sweet <laughs> and I saw it and I said, why not? Um, very expensive cookies, but they're really good. Um, unfortunately, our flight ended up being delayed about two hours out of DC, so it did take us a while to get home. Uh, last night, I was so exhausted when I got home. All I wanted to do was shower and sleep. Um, but yeah, anyways, our trip to DC was really great. It's always really fun. Um, I love going to the museums. I love the food in DC. I love the big city feel. Um, yeah, the only thing about DC is it's expensive. Getting hotels here are like ridiculous. It's like New York style or Chicago expensive. 150 per night and more for like a nice hotel. And not even like the fancy five stars, but like a three star or three and a half things that um, you'd be used to. So it's a very expensive city, uh, but it's always a good time. Uh, so thank you everyone for watching and see you guys next week. Bye.